Welcome to The Spot on Urban Real Estate. I'm Ian Watt. Today we are sitting down with Anthony Kavanaugh of the Real Estate Council of British Columbia, which protects consumer interest in real estate transactions. The Real Estate Council of BC is a consumer protection agency that's set up to administer the Real Estate Services Act. So our role is to oversee the initial licensing and education requirements for real estate licensees, as well as to ensure their ongoing compliance with the, with the legislation and ultimately to protect consumer interest. The Real Estate Council licenses three main categories of, of individuals. Those engaged in trading services, which is commonly referred to as real estate sales, those engaged in rental property management, and most recently, those engaged in strata management. So those uh, strata management would, would, would include individuals who oversee the management of buildings like the one that we're in right now, and rental property management would uh, oversee the individuals who engage in, in uh, those who rent out properties on behalf of their owners and manage the affairs of those properties. The Real Estate Council's year ends in June, and two years ago, we received 350 complaints. Last year, we were at 460 complaints, and this year, we're on track for about 600 complaints. So dramatic rises in the number of complaints that we're receiving. And in addition to that, we're also seeing an increasing level of complexity that are, are involved in these, straight, these complaints. They're not matters that are as simple as you fail to disclose that the basement leaks. It's they're they're more involved. There's 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 certain in certain situations there's elements of mortgage fraud. So certainly dramatically more uh, involved cases that we're dealing with. The council can impose a number of discipline sanctions, ranging from a license reprimand to a license suspension where we can suspend a license from a few days to a year or more to a license cancellation. And that license cancellation, we do about three of those a year, uh, and those are issued only in the most severe circumstances where there's a significant contravention of the Real Estate Services Act and the public interest has been undermined. In, in addition to that, the council can uh, it can order licensees to take education, additional uh, education, as well as uh, uh, we can impose a fine on licensees of, of up to $20,000 for, for contraventions. When the public interest is at risk, the Real Estate Council has the ability to suspend a license immediately in the public interest. And that would be a situation where there may be a theft from a trust account, for example, your deposit money might have been st stolen. So the Real Estate Council will go in and immediately suspend the license of the, that individual and it will remain suspended until further notice. In addition to that, the council can, uh, has the authority to freeze property, freeze assets, and seize both assets and property from the, from the licensee if it's in the public interest to do so. The Real Estate Council has a licensee search on its website where consumers can go in and they can determine A, if the individual they're working with is licensed and, and the brokerage that they're working with is duly licensed, and B, they can find out if there have been any recent uh, discipline sanctions handed down by the Real Estate Council against those licensees. That's all the time we have for today on The Spot on Urban Real Estate. To learn more about the Real Estate Council of British Columbia, please visit our website at ianwatt.ca. Thank you very much.